If it's a state road, the state pays for repairs. It even does so when it passes through a city, right? Well, actually, that is not what a local lawmaker found and pushed to have state government pay for the freight for its own roads. Our Steve Brown has the story for us tonight. It's that time of year again in Buffalo, road repair season. And the city's DPW commissioner points out the need in our city uh, is is a lot. In fact, with suggestions from citizens, city government last year compiled a list of ready to go infrastructure projects totaling $300 million. Good roads, good infrastructure is very important to business recruitment and business retention in our community. So this is critically important to our economic development and job creation efforts. Now, spoiler alert, Buffalo did not get $300 million from state government to address its wish list of infrastructure projects, but it did get an increase in state funding. In fact, almost triple of what it got last year, from 5.6 to $16.1 million. Most of that increase is a new state roads program for state routes that pass through cities. In the past, the city's been asked to take care of state routes when the state ended its funding at the city line. That's no longer the case. The new state touring routes program brings $8.7 million to take care of state routes passing through Buffalo. Niagara Street, where construction has been ongoing, is an example. Not just repavement, but also roadway beautification. Other city streets, which are state routes and covered by this new program, include Main Street, Delaware Avenue, and South Park Avenue. Mayor Brown says the best hope for more money for other needed projects rests with President Biden's National Infrastructure Plan, which proposes $2 trillion in spending over eight years. That may face rough sledding with Senate Republicans opposed to paying for the plan by raising the corporate tax rate. In Buffalo, Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.